Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to another edition of Can't Wait Wednesdays here on the KB Radio Network. This is the show where we preview upcoming movies and television shows of the upcoming week. How are we doing? I'm, I'm hoping that this show is fine and everybody doing swell. I uh, hope you're having a great day, a great week, a great evening, whenever you are joining us here at the KB Radio Network. Thank you all for joining. Welcome to the first week of July of 2023. We are in the middle of summer. It is, it is, well, as far as movies are concerned, summer really officially didn't start until a couple of weeks ago on the 21st of June. But um, as far as the movie going season, we are at the peak heading towards fall and it's been a very interesting summer movie season uh there's been a lot of a lot of movies a lot of content to come out not only in theaters but also on television and it, it's just been jam-packed jam-packed uh blockbuster films some uh highly anticipated shows and uh you know it's been kind of tough to get to them all <laughs> <laughs> me personally it's been rough finding time carving out a few hours in the day to try to watch this and review this and it's been tough but it's been fun you know I, i'm not complaining it, I, it's good you know it's good because you have to think back to a couple of years ago when there was absolutely nothing coming out <laughs> whether it was in the theater or on television it was a dry zone and we're making up for lost time now and this week is no exception we have a lot to get through this week and honestly all of these properties all of this content is something i want to see something that i plan to watch at at the very least 50 percent of this i'm going to watch this weekend the other 50, I'm going to try to carve it through. Now, the only challenge for me is which is which, you know, <laughs> which is which is going to be on hold and which is uh which of these I'm going to dive into this weekend. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But, hey, maybe something will come along and I, I'm able to watch all six of these properties that we're going to go over today. And it's just the six that I picked out there's more than this <laughs> there's more than this but these are the six that I just can't wait for let's start off with a Netflix documentary film about a pop duo that I have been a fan of since the 80s I love this group <laughs> I mean absolutely love them this is the definitive 80s group here when 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 you think of this and you think of all the songs that they put out it's it's 80s man this is the greatest decade in my humble opinion i was blessed to live through it and this documentary is named wham after the pop duel that consisted of george michaels and andrew wrigley this group is i mean that's all i can remember i remember my sister having a george michaels poster on her wall she she loved george michaels and when you know later on down the line when we found out about george michaels, i don't think it changed i really i don't think it changed i think she still loves george michaels in that way uh god rest his soul even though he uh he was homosexual and nobody knew well at least uh, at least at least she didn't know and so i'll put it that way uh, but Wham, man, I mean, where, where do you, where do you begin with Wham? You know, everything she wants, uh, wake me up before you go, go, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, club Tropicana. I mean, I love Wham. And then when, uh, uh, George Michaels branched off, went solo, you know, careless whisper and, you know, all those, I, I mean, this was just a, I love this duel and I love George Michaels as well, but this is a documentary about the English pop duel wham. And 
it marks the 40th anniversary of their 1983 debut album, Fantastic. It's directed by Chris Smith, and it relies primarily on rare arch- archive footage and audio commentary by the group, private home videos and music video behind the scenes outtakes and family comments all linked together using scrapbooks created by Andrew's mother. I am super excited for this because one, I love documentaries and two, I love this group. You know, it is funny going back to what (laughs) going back to my sister loving uh, George Michael. To be honest with you, around that time, I thought it was the other way around. I thought Andrew Wrigley was uh, gay. (laughs) And I thought I thought that George Michael was was heterosexual, but in actuality, it was flip flop. <laughs> it was the other way around, and, and that just blew my mind. That's the same thing, you know. Me growing up, you know, I was young. I was young. I always loved Prince. I still love Prince, but I always thought Prince was gay because Prince always had on heels. Prince would always have a blouse on, br- <laughs> makeup, and all this stuff. I thought Prince was gay. I really did, but that that man that was a man. <laughs> Prince was a man, but the eighties was a crazy, crazy decade. Boy, I miss it. But we can relive it in this documentary, which drops on Netflix today, Wednesday, July the fifth. Wham! Can't wait to watch that. Moving on to a film that will premiere on a streaming service that I have never ever discussed on this show but this for some strange reason i want to see this movie this looks exciting and it, it really does and it is call her king and it will drop on bet plus this thursday july the 6th and i don't know man i don't know what it is about this movie that just got me intrigued maybe because i'm a giant Die Hard fan, and this is basically Die Hard in a courtroom. Uh, the premise to call her king after the courtroom is hijacked by Black Caesar, brother of Sean Samuels, who was just been sentenced. Judge King must rely on her strength and skills to find a way to end the standoff and save the hostages as well as make her escape. Call Her King stars the Terry Norton, who we all know from Power as uh, uh, Tasha St. Patrick. The film also stars Jason Mitchell, uh, Lance Gross, and many, many more. I have never watched anything on BET+. (laughs) At least I haven't watched a full uh, uh, show or movie on BET+, because can't watch it it's hard for me to watch <laughs> those movies and if you uh been an avid listener to the show you know that i constantly make fun of bet plus but i want to check this out you know it, it, it may be fun <laughs> it might be fun we'll see call her king will drop on bet plus this thursday july the 6th also on July the 6th, Peacock has decided to dedicate July the 6th to the birthday boy, Kevin Hart. On July the 6th on Peacock, we will get two pieces of content from Kevin Hart. First being his stand-up special, Kevin Hart Reality Check, which I'm excited for. Uh, I love Kevin Hart's uh, stand-ups. <laughs> you know, I get tired of them sometimes in movies. But his stand-ups are still great for me. I, I I can't wait to check that out. As well as the season three premiere of his talk show, Heart to Heart. And so uh, in the stand-up special, which was shot in front of a sold-out crowd in Las Vegas, and includes his take on relationships and fame, Peacock described the one-hour special as providing audiences with genuine humor, candid conversations, and hilarious tall tales so on july the 6th this thursday tomorrow go swing over to peacock and join the celebration and wish 
Kevin Hart a happy birthday by checking out those two pieces of content, his stand-up special, Kevin Hart, Reality Check, and the season three premiere of this talk show, Heart to Heart. Moving over to July the 7th, this Friday, we have three films coming out. Two in the theaters, but one is dropping on Netflix, and that film is The Outlaws. And The Outlaws is a action comedy that stars uh, Adam Devine, uh, Pierce Bronson, Ellen Barklin, uh, Michael Rooker, Little Rail, and many, many more. The premise to The Outlaws, Owen Browning is a young bank manager who's about to get engaged to his fiance. One day, the bank is held up by an infamous group of criminals known as the Ghost Bandits. The robbery occurs during his wedding week and certain indicators lead him to believe that the robbers may in fact be his future in-laws who just arrived in town for the wedding. This looks good. <laughs> I saw the trailer and I just, I cracked up laughing. This looks like a fun time, uh, a cute, uh, exciting film. I like Adam Devine, uh, from pitch perfect, uh, the righteous gemstones and, and so many more. He, he is a very funny guy. I, I, I'm, I'm, I slick style became a huge fan of his <laughs> years ago and I'll watch anything that he's in. Um, especially in the righteous gemstones. I think he is excellent in that show, but the outlaws drops on Netflix this Friday, July the 7th. Also on July the 7th, we have a comedy that is coming from the minds behind Family Guy and Knocked Up, uh, Super Bad, Pineapple Express, and, and so many more. Uh, this is Joyride, and Joyride stars Ashley Park, Sherry Cola, uh, Stephanie Hsu, and many more. The premise behind Joyride, childhood best friends, Audrey and Lolo accompli accompanied by Audrey's former roommate Kat and Lolo's cousin Deadeye set out on a journey across China to find Audrey's birth mother. This looks funny. This looks, I saw the trailer for this uh, a, a couple of months back and I was like, at first when it came on, I'm like, well, I'll wait for this to go to streaming or something. <laughs> And did as the trailer kept going out, like, man, this looks funny. <laughs> this looks really good. I know my wife's excited about it, so I guess this would be date night for us this weekend. As I said, there's a lot of uh, good talent behind the scenes as well as in front. But this is written by a young lady who uh, uh, has been a producer on Family Guy and American Dad and all those shows with uh, Seth MacFarlane. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to say her name it's it is a long she has about 14 is 14 letters in her last name so i'm not even gonna go there but she she uh she is very talented and for that alone that that gives me some encouragement because i love family guy and so if she's writing this i'm all on board but it's also produced by seth rogan and um his producing partner evan gold goldberg I, this looks so good and a little road trip comedy thing. I, I love those type of movies, you know, the hangover movies or bride, uh, bridesmaids and stuff like that. It looks like it's in that vein and I'm all for it. Joyride drives into theaters this Friday, July the 7th. We arrive at our final can't wait of the weekend and it is the fifth installment in the Insidious franchise. Yes, Insidious, The Red Door, a supernatural horror film directed, making his directorial debut, might I add, by Patrick Wilson, who also stars in the film. And Insidious, the first Insidious, which came out in 2010, that was the scariest, well, nah, uh, I don't want to say that, but it was, it was scary. <laughs> it, did, it did the job for me. I really, really love that movie. Um, the, 
it was directed by James Wan, who is a horror master, and it starred Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, and Ty Sh- uh, Shemkins in those roles, and they return for this film. And uh, this being Patrick Wilson's directorial debut, I'm very interested to see how he is as a director. Love him as an actor. Really enjoy his performances in everything that he does. I'm a huge fan of his. But the premise to this fifth installment of the Insidious franchise, set 10 years after the ending events of the second film, Josh Lambert heads east to drop his son Dylan off at an Ivy League university. However, Dylan's college dream becomes a nightmare when the repressed demons of his past suddenly return to haunt them both. To end the haunting and put the demons to rest once and for all, Josh and Dylan must return once again to the further in order to stop the Lambert nightmare for good. Yeah, um, this was, <laughs> this looks this it, it actually looks good in the trailers. Uh, the uh, you can fit this in with the other films, you know. Uh, I'm encouraged by that. Looks like they're gonna have some decent little scares in it. I'm all for it. Plus, uh, I've watched all the rest of them, so <laughs> might as well might as well finish them off with this fifth installment. Insidious: The Red Door drops in theaters Friday, July the sixth. Uh, we have a lot. There's a lot coming out. Just to recap, you have Wham, which is currently on Netflix. Call Her King drops on. BET Plus this Thursday, July the 6th. Also on July the 6th, we have the birthday celebration of Kevin Hart on Peacock with the release of his comedy special, Reality Check, and his talk show, third season of his talk show, Heart to Heart. The Outlaws drops on Netflix this Friday, July the 7th. Joyride in theaters. This Friday, July the 7th, and Insidious the Red Door. This Friday, you guessed it, July the 7th. Which one are you excited for? I want all six. I want them all. Give them, give it to me. Give me, give me, give me. I can't wait for all of these. Um, This, <laughs> this is going to be another good week, hopefully. Hopefully I'm not let down. But what's more importantly, what are you? excited for let me know by emailing the show kb radio podcast at gmail.com also look me up on twitter at kb radio network and on other social media platforms just look up the kb radio network also look up the kb radio network on youtube subscribe to the channel like this video if you don't mind don't forget about the five stars the reviews and sharing this show if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or wherever you are currently listening to Can't Wait Wednesdays on the KB Radio Network. Everybody, thank you for joining me. Hope everybody is staying cool in this unbearable heat. <laughs> it is so hot. It is it, it's, it's maddening when you wake up in the morning. Let's see if for those of you who had to get up in early in the morning, like me, to go to work around 5, 5.30, and it's 80-something degrees at 5.30 in the morning, and <laughs> all the way till nighttime, when it's time to go to bed, 10, 11 o'clock at night, and it's still 80 degrees, and I skipped over a major part in the middle of the day when we're in triple digits. It's been brutal. This has been a brutal summer here in southeastern Louisiana. I don't know how it is across the world for all you listeners out there. Thank you all for joining, by the way. I love all of y'all, man. Y'all just don't know how appreciative I am for everybody joining in and supporting this show. I know that is like super rambling. I went here and started there and ended up over there. But I just wanted to say that I love you all. Continue to love one another. And until we speak again, you all be blessed.